We're here with Arno Sarafagas, helm on board Alingi Red Bull Racing. So two boats sailing today with both AC40s in one design. Uh, offshore wind in the morning, shifty and gusty, before dying and turning to the south. Uh, you finished off with some racing, you and Max against Dean Barker and Phil Robertson. How are you feeling about today? Yeah, today was a really good day to start the week. Uh, we had the offshore breeze in the beginning that died off really quickly. Uh, but we got super lucky to get the southwest breeze coming back in and uh, it was a perfect uh, day, uh, way to start the week uh, as uh, we are doing our racing program now uh, and uh, Phil, uh, Dean and uh, Jason are here to uh, help us to improve and uh, to push us to the limit and uh, today uh, we almost find a little limit on, uh, on the boat and uh, it's a good thing to improve uh, and to work on for tomorrow uh, and the rest of the week. So what are you looking to improve and work on for the next, next uh, days? Um, we can improve uh, all the uh, little details, a uh, little bit of communication and as well uh, as uh, the conditions were a little bit tricky with the gust and lull. So a little, um, little tweak on the, on the setup just to make sure that uh, everything uh, goes really smoothly and uh, you don't lose uh, anything uh, but you just try to make some gain. It looked like the right side of the course was favourable, most of the sailing was on the right side. Uh, but not only today, some, you know, when the thermal winds, you often, we often see you going inshore. Do you, do you agree with that? Is that a consistent...? Yeah, I think the, the right was quite consistent. Uh, only the one time we could uh, go to the left and uh, we didn't. And uh, we actually did pay on the left. So uh, now the conditions were really nice because uh, it was one of the first time that was quite shifty and uh, we could really play around and uh, make the game even more interesting uh, on board. So if we have thermal winds in Villanova, is that something you expect, you know, going over towards the shore? Uh, well, to be honest, it's pretty far away, uh, so we haven't really looked, looked at it. Uh, but uh, depending on the race course and uh, how far we are from the shore, and maybe, yeah, the, the right will pay uh, like, like usual. And if you find yourself, you know, behind in the racing, what's the thought process? You bang, bang the corner in shore or get clean air? What's the... Well, I think it really depends where you are in the... Which stage of the ra uh, the race are you in? Uh, you can uh, you cannot uh, um, uh, put everything on the table too early, so you need to be patient, and uh, it's a it's gonna be a fleet race, so uh, you don't need to win every race. So you just need to be up there, and uh, at the end of the week, uh, the the point will uh, will count. Yeah. And how differently are you approaching the starts uh, in your training now, leading up to Villanova? You're not you're moving away from match racing starts, more focus on fleet racing starts. What's the process? Uh, it really depends. You try to find a routine uh, that works uh, for each condition, each uh, situation. It's still early on because we're still practicing a uh, fit race uh, start but two boats, so it can really quickly end up uh, in a match race situation. But uh, we just try to find uh, some routine, uh, but it's not really far away from a match race uh, routine or uh, way of thinking on the, on the start. How much pressure is there within the team to perform at Villanova? Uh, there is not much pressure on the team uh, to perform. We just want to do, uh, to do it well and to try to, imp uh, to work on every uh, little details. And uh, it's going to be a really uh, good uh, first uh, event. And then uh, we're going to carry that work to, through Jeddah. And uh, it's where we can uh, fine-tune things uh, until next year. Thank you, Arno. Cool. Thanks. <laughs>